What's going on? What's going on, guys? How you doing today? You hanging out with the one and only Philly Dom. I'm out here in uh, Belize, and I'm hanging out with my friend here, Master Wayne. He's trying to help you guys change your lifestyle so you can be able to travel and make money. He has some information that can change your life on Amazon. We're talking about rags, the riches, riches, the rags, whatever you want to call it. So now I'm going to put let him talk and do his thing. Master Wayne, the floor is yours. All right. Appreciate it. Uh, can you see my screen? I see your screen, Lon. I can see you clearly. You got your Run DMC green show him, um, um, what is it, sweat top on? It's a sweat outfit oh. on with your headphones. Right. I see you loud and clear. All right, can you see this the screen that I'm sharing? Uh, I'll put it, let me share the screen. I'm gonna share it right now. I'm gonna block okay. us out. We're gonna put that screen in. All right, go ahead, put it up and let me know when you see it. Well, let me give you full screen of that. Okay, it's there. The whole screen is there. All right, so. As Philly Dom said, I am Master Wayne, and I am a expert or guru or master in setting up an Amazon business. And I also have about 50 clients that I've taught the same exact process. And so first, I'm going to give you some, some details, some information that you need to know about Amazon. And then halfway through, I'll stop, and then I'll, I'll go ahead and take some questions. So first thing first, the nine largest retailers in the United States would be Walmart, Home Depot, Costco, CVS, Target, Lowe's, Walgreens, Kroger's, and Best Buy. And together they're worth $1.07 trillion. However, Amazon is worth more than all nine of the next of the largest retailers combines by itself. Amazon is worth 1.4 trillion by itself. So to put that into perspective, its next closest competitor is obviously Walmart. There's a Walmart literally in every major city. And some states have Walmarts within a couple of miles of each other. So, you know, Walmart by itself is 339 billion, whereas uh, Amazon is 1.4 trillion. So that's how much larger Amazon is than everybody else. So Amazon gives you access to 100 fulfillment centers worldwide. If you open up a, a professional seller account and you start to sell under that platform. And it also gives you access to 15 sorting centers around the world. So it's a global marketplace and I know most of you probably know people, if not yourself, who are receiving two to three products at your door from Amazon every single week. And you probably didn't know that you could actually reverse that equation and start sending in a couple of products into Amazon and selling them and profiting. So it's just a matter of knowing and having that information and that knowledge and knowing how to set it up. So because Amazon is a global marketplace, it gives you the ability to reach customers in 185 countries. And by the way, there are only 195 countries in the world. So Fulfillment by Amazon was launched in 2006 and it serves 51% of the planet. So there's no other platform in existence that you can get started with today and have access to 51% of the buying power on the planet. I mean, Amazon has changed the nature of business. And I know a lot of you are pretty savvy and you might have your money in 401ks, mutual funds, savings accounts, real estate, stocks, certificates of deposit, cryptocurrency, all that stuff. But the average return for all of those uh, different financial vehicles, only about 8 to 10% yearly, maybe 11, 12% at tops at best. However, if you can see my screen right now, this is the ROI on just some of the products that I'm going to teach you how to locate and how to purchase 
and what to do with it after that in order to get it into Amazon so it sells and then you keep what's left over as profit. So as you can see, and it's 82% return on your investment, 93%, 93%, 89, 71, on down the list. And this is what we do every single day. You know, I give you access uh, to all the software that will help you map this out. And I train you personally, so there's no guesswork in it. And most people fail with online businesses because they sign up for websites or courses and they'll go through the first day and watch a couple of videos and you know implement a couple of tactics, but they never finish. And when you don't finish, then you can't put that, that work into action, therefore you're not gonna succeed. But the way I teach you is different. I hold your hand and walk you through the entire process and from, from start to finish, and then that way your whole business is already set up and running. So there's no chance of you not completing and putting in the work because that sets you up. So that right there isn't even a factor. So here's a real world scenario right here. This right here is, is a Disney monster toy and it's $16 and 99 cent. And so obviously you could run down to Target and pull this up off the shelf in the toy uh, category or toy section. Or you just jump on your computer, go to Target, see if they still have this. And it, it may be still be $16.99 or maybe a little higher or a little lower. But you would go to you you would go to Target online and purchase this for $16.99. And then you would send that into Amazon. And you know, once you enroll, I, I'll show you how to do this entire method in detail. But once it arrives in Amazon, you can potentially sell it for $52.98. And so that's a profit of $22.71 or a return on investment of 133%. So it gets even better though, because now right here at the top of my page where it says estimated sales calculator, you can see that over the last past 90 days, it sold 111 times. Over the last month, 45 times. And over the next uh, 90 days, it's projected to sell 140 times. So you can see that there's gonna be an increase in sales. And this is just the data that we get back to. So we're able to make informed buying decisions. We're not just guessing at, at what we're going to buy or what's gonna sell. We could actually just read the data and the data lets us know whether or not it's going to be a good buy or not. So there are only three people selling this product. So if you just do the math in your head, three people selling a product that sells 45 times a month, that means these three sellers are each averaging about 15 sales per month. And so if you were to become a fourth seller or a fifth seller, then that would still be enough for everyone to sell their inventory and make a profit. And as you can see right here next to the number that these sellers are listed in, you have the stock level. So for the seller right here in the number one position, uh, they have six in stock. And then the next two sellers, two and three, only have one in stock. So between them, there's only eight products. So by the time yours makes it in the Amazon, they'll be out of stock and you'll be the only seller. And so the, again, this is just all the data that we have access to. Now over here on this page, you can see that the total fees that Amazon is going to take out of this transaction is $13.14. So now let me give you a full scale breakdown of that. So you go over to Target and number one, you buy this product for $16.99. And here's something that a lot of you don't see comments, but I'm going to nail this home. Two, you're going to sell it on Amazon. Once you sell it on Amazon, let's say you sell it for $52.98, Amazon's fee is going to be $13.14 to make that whole transaction happen. And then Amazon is going to transfer over to your account $39.84 cash money. So that means your profit is $22.85. And I don't know if you notice this or not, but 
you you are reimbursed the $16.99 that you pay for the product. So the product ends up being free, and then you're making another $22 profit on top of that. Also, if you decide to enroll in, in this course, then when tax time comes up, you can write off your, your, the entire enrollment payment on your taxes as a business startup. Or also, let's say between now and the end of the year, you sell $10,000 worth of products or you buy $10,000 worth of inventory that also can be written off on your taxes, all your inventory. So th that's one of the caveats or best things about this business that a lot of people don't even take into consideration is that, you know, the money that you spend to, to purchase products, Amazon reimburses you plus gives you profit on top of that. And then, you know, with the home-based business and, you know, being having an Amazon business, you'll be able to write off all the money you spend on buying products. So there's just really, <laughs> it's hard to lose that way because all the money comes right back to you and then you get to do it all over again. All right, so this is a real world example of one of my products. So don't, don't go and try to research this and steal my products, okay? Because you'll still have no idea as to what you're doing. All right, so this right here is a Quip electric toothbrush head, right? And these are replacement heads only. So it's not the entire toothbrush. They're sold separately, uh, one a piece for $5. But as you can see, in, in this particular listing, they're all sold together in threes. So the buy price is $15 for three of them, $5 a piece. And the potential selling price is $48.20. So that would give us a profit of $21.16 or return on investment of 141%. So this right here is actually inside of my Amazon seller account. And you can see here I sold it for $40.99, $41.99, $45.99, $45.65. Dollars Next page, sold it for $45.75, $42.97, Forty-five, forty-three, forty-three, and then on the third page of my order sheet, I sold it for forty-three ninety-nine all the way down the page. And you see over here to the right, this particular order was canceled. No problem. If that order is canceled, it just simply goes right back into your inventory, and then you can resell it. So, just to, let's give you a breakdown on this. So, profit ended up being seventeen dollars and fifty-two cent. And my ROI ended up being 116%. Um, I purchased them for $15 and the average selling price was $44. And so I sold 15 of them. And so 15 times $44 is $660 in sales, right? Now, of course, Amazon is going to take their fee. So Amazon fees for selling all 15 of these uh, replacement head toothbrushes is $172.25. So after Amazon takes their fees and all my other fees are also calculated into this equation. And so that means that Amazon leaves me with $487.75 because one, I'm reimbursed $225 that I spent to purchase the products. And then on top of that, have a profit of $262.75. All right, so right here, you can see that my price for uh, this product was $45.86. And you can see right here, I'm in the number six position, $45.86. Um, and I'm going up against 20 sellers. So you can see 19 FBA sellers and two merchant sellers. So the system I'm going to teach you will show you how to crush the competition and win the buy box more often than your other fellow Amazon sellers. But this is also a, a rare product. Normally I wouldn't even sell a product with this much competition because it's not something you have to do. I can show you how to find products with almost no competition. Therefore, you're giving yourself an even better opportunity to profit. All right. so. The total stock of all of these sellers is 89. And even though the product 
only sold 31 times a month, I had no problem selling 15 of those. So you can see dominating the marketplace. And it's just, you know, experience. I've been doing this for eight years and I've learned how to, you know, give you, give Amazon what it wants. So Amazon has the algorithm. All right. So this is the formula that I pretty much use to map all of this information together. So one, before I buy a product, I need to make sure it's profitable. That's just common sense. If it's not going to bring me back any money or two, a return on investment, then it's not going to be worth my time or your time. Three, I need to know how many FBA sellers there are. Four, how many merchant sellers there are. A merchant seller is someone who's selling their product on Amazon, but that product is not at an Amazon fulfillment center. And an FBA seller is the exact opposite. FBA seller would be you and I, when we purchase our products and ship it straight into Amazon, and then Amazon handles everything else. They will do the shipping, they will do the customer service, they'll handle return, and if the product is lost, damaged, or stolen, then Amazon will shoulder that liability for us and that won't be our concern but if you're a merchant or FBA, fbm seller which stands for fulfillment by merchant then you have to show that that responsibility of shipping your products out and making sure that it reaches your customer in a timely fashion all right five you'll also be able to see your competition's inventory level six the best seller rank seven whether or not you're even eligible to sell said product eight you, you'll know how many sales per month that product is bringing in for the last 90 days and the future 90 days and you also know whether or not you can sell it internationally so amazon is a global marketplace you know so somebody asks you what you do 30 days from now you can tell them you know, you're in global distribution. You sell products from the cradle to the grave. And then last but not least, once you enroll, I'm going to teach you some other trade secrets to show you how to knock it out the park. All right, so I'm going to cover this real quick, and then we're going to take a break, and I'm going to go ahead and address some of your questions. So this is just how the whole system works. First, we're, we source products. We buy the products at a low price. We send them to what's called a prep and ship center. They're all located all over the world. And then we send the, the prep and ship company boxes up our products correctly and uh, packages them correctly and then sends them into Amazon. And once they reach Amazon, they're checked into the filming centers, our products go live, they sell at a higher price, and then we pocket the difference and then rinse and repeat. And the caveat is you can do this with an unlimited amount of products. And so there's no, <laughs> there's no gray area, or there's no limitations to how much money you can make or where you can scale your account to. All right, so uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and um, take some questions. All right, let me check, let me see what questions they have here. Okay, here we go, question for you. All right, Anam is asking, how accurate is the data? Is it a guaranteed sale? Can we sell international from day one? Can we purchase and sell food for Amazon Fresh? All right, fantastic question, Anam. Um, I'm gonna play this video real quick and I want you guys to watch this because this is happening right in front of your faces, but if you, if you don't study Amazon, you won't even realize this until it's too late. And so, um, can you can you still see my screen, Philly? I'm on my Facebook page now. I'm gonna play it. Are you good to go? Yeah. Can you can you still see my screen? Yeah, I see your screen. Okay. Can you see the video playing? It's trying to play. It's trying to play. Okay. Okay. It's. Whatever you're doing, it's doing something, but I don't hear nothing. Okay.
Okay, so back to the question. So in case you guys missed that, those are Amazon stores that Amazon has labeled Amazon Go stores, which allows a consumer, everybody on the planet, to walk into an Amazon Go store, pick up the product that they want, and walk out. There are no cashiers. There are no checkout. Amazon's technology is tied to every single product. So you literally walk in, pick up what you want, walk out, and then you're charged for it inside of your app on your phone. And so they already have almost 30 something Amazon Go stores in four states. And they will be launching that into hundreds of, of uh, cities and states almost worldwide pretty soon. So if you don't know the value of that, it, it's going to change retail and it's gonna put a lot of other stores out of business. So you definitely wanna get in front of that. All right. Um, Billy, can you put that question back up? Okay. Yeah, so ANOM, the data um, is, is fairly accurate. So we see two parts of data. The first part of the data that we see is from a few hours old when the, when our, the product is actually scanned. So let's say you know, when the leads come in, the leads will be available at 1 p.m. But that retailer may have been scanned six hours ago, like six o'clock in the morning. So that's the first part of the data. But then after we look at that data and it looks appealing to us, we then go and scan it in real time. So first we see uh, past data that's a few hours old, and then we get to check it in real time. So that's the answer to your first question. And yes, you can sell internationally from day one. As soon as I get your account set up, you'll officially be selling in Canada, the United States, and Mexico. So that's all of North America. And then I can show you how to go inside your Amazon account and then start selling globally. And so you can hit the ground running. And yes, you can purchase and sell food for Amazon Fresh. And of course, Amazon is going to be implementing the Amazon Go concept into grocery stores also. So it'd be the same thing. People will be able to start going to that Amazon fresh grocery stores, purchasing or just grabbing what they want and walking out. No checkout, no clerks, no cashiers, just grab and go. That's why they call it Amazon Go. Fantastic question, Amon. All right, next question. All right, what up, fellas? Charles Explorer said, is there a spreadsheet that keeps track of your expenditures for the year, purchases, et cetera? Yes, so we use, uh, we use uh, two forms of uh, spread, well, one spreadsheet, one software to track that information. So the spreadsheet is manual, where you'll just uh, track your daily expenses and then uh, I'll make that into your weekly expenses and then your monthly expenses. Or you can just have software do it for you automatically and it'll track your bottom, your bottom line all the way down to what we call COG, which stands for cost of goods. So, you know, how much money you spent to purchase it, uh, what's the current selling price of that product, what you're projected to sell it at, and all of your expenses included. So, yeah, um, you'll have your choice whether or not you want to go the manual way and use a spreadsheet, Charles, or whether or not you want to do it the automated way, the easy way, and use software. Great question, though. That's it for the questions right now. Okay, okay. We got a lot of people watching, right. but that's it for the questions, yeah. All right, back to the presentation then. Let me go ahead and finish off. All right. So this right here is a copy of a spreadsheet. So once you have um, managed and your business for 30 days, I will connect you with a virtual assistant if, if that's what you want. And your virtual assistant would then manage your entire business for you. So that way it only will take, it, it will only take you 15 minutes a day to manage your business. And so this is what the spreadsheet looks like. It tells you where the product is selling on Amazon, where to go purchase it from the retailer, and then your 
your product price, your buy box price, uh, your profit margin. And so the only thing you'll have to do is click the product link, go purchase the product, and then come down here to columns M and N and let your virtual assistant know when you purchase this product and the quantity that you purchase, and that's it, you're done. Your VA will handle everything else that needs to be done inside of your Amazon business. So I train them personally myself so they know exactly what they're doing, just like if, if I was running your account. And so it, take, it takes the, the workload off and it brings the workload down and just makes it easier for you to be able to scale your business and you'll be able to manage your business every day right from your cell phone with an Amazon seller app and you'll be able to log in 24 seven and check everything related to your account. All right, so this is what I call my living herbs and spices. So first thing I do is get you to hit the ground running by showing you how to create a barrier to entry for some of your products, where you'll be the only seller. Two, how to get ungated for uh, more categories so that way there'll be more sales and less competition. Three, how to list your, and grow your account by over 100 products per month. Four, how to properly set up your Amazon account. So I never encourage any of my clients to try and set up their Amazon account by themselves because if you get that wrong, then you could also be out of business or it takes a lot of energy and time to try and clear that up if you make a mistake. All right, five. Uh, like uh, Aina Max earlier, yes, uh, Charles, yes, you can start off selling in the entire world. So if you just look straight down the list, United States, Canada, Mexico, United Kingdom, Germany, France, Italy, Spain, Netherlands, Japan, Singapore, UAE, Brazil, Australia, and India. And beside each one of these countries, you have the uh, traffic that's generated by each of these marketplaces. So um, in the United States, that's where the, there's the most amount of competition at 2.331 billion, 2.31 billion. And as you go down the list, you can see that a lot of these countries are almost 10, 15 years behind in the past. And when you go into these other marketplaces, then you can dominate as if you were getting started selling on Amazon 15, 20 years ago. You know, like look at the Netherlands, only 533,000. So, you know, you could private label products in the Netherlands, same thing in the, U in the UK, you know, 403 million, same thing in Italy. And, you know, you could start selling products in all of these marketplaces and be almost two decades ahead of the competition before they figure out that they can get on Amazon and do the same thing. Uh, seven, I'll show you how to locate and sell products that most sellers ignore. And this is a huge thing. You don't want to ignore free money. Uh, eight, I'll show you how to, you can get no credit check, interest-free funding to scale your business. Also, um, I have an expert on hand who can uh, teach you how to get grants for your business. And the grants, of course, you never have to pay back. So that's just free money for your business. And Amazon also has a special program geared specifically for minority businesses and women, whereas they offer you a special grant, gives you free advertisement, free money, and they give you uh, a, a head start or leg up in the game. So that's huge for minority owned businesses and women businesses. And number nine, I teach you how to ethically borrow products and ideas from established million dollar sellers. So there are some Amazon sellers who've been on business or been in business now for 20 years, and they have probably tens of thousands of products inside of the Amazon store. And I show you how to reverse engineer their stores and cherry pick just a handful of their products and just to help you out. All right. So. Amazon has an algorithm which is known as the buy box. And all that simply is, is for this example, this cell phone, as you can see right here, has 10 sellers. So during the course of a 24 hour period in a day, Amazon will rotate all 10 of these sellers into what's called the buy box. All that simply means is 
let's say a uh, seller Acme store, right? So let's say it's net the seller store name is Acme, right? Let's say they're in the buy box from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. for two hours. Whomever comes to this uh, page and clicks on add or buy now to purchase their cell phone from 8 to 10 p.m. in the evening while Acme is in the buy box, that's who'll win the sale. And then let's say at 10.30, uh, another seller is rotated into the buy box and Acme is rotated out the buy box. So whoever purchased it then, then it, that, it'll go to that seller. So that's Amazon's algorithm for the buy box. So, you know, you'll get a lot of new sellers who don't understand this concept and they'll think in order to sell the inventory, they have to have the lowest price. You don't have to do that. One of the algorithm or secret algorithms for Amazon buy box is to stay within 2% of the buy box. So if you stay within 2% of the buy box, Amazon will rotate you in and out with everybody else. All right. Here's another caveat. So the way I have this set up is you'll be downloading uh, extensions uh, to your Google account. And before you even make a purchase, of a retail product, you'll be able to get cash back for that product. And almost 50% of all the products that we purchase also have coupons available. And you'll be able to use a cash back credit card or a cash back debit card. Or if you set up a pay business account, then PayPal will give you, I think it's two and a half percent cash back off of every purchase. So when you add that up, you're already making a nice little profit off every product before you even finish the transaction and well before you even sell the product. So we don't, we don't even factor in the cash back in a coupon or the cash back from our credit cards or PayPal account into our profit margin. So that just gives you additional profit on top of that. All right, so Amazon also has what what are commonly known as bundles. And there's three types of bundles, multi-bundle, complementary bundle, and variety bundle. So real quick, this is just what we call a complementary bundle. It's a shampoo, hair, and conditioner. As you can see, they're bundled together, and then that allows the consumer to buy them together because most people are doing that anyway. And so it just allows you to reach a lot more consumers and make a lot more sales. This is another bundle that I created during the uh, start of the pandemic when I saw that there was a demand increase for it. And so, you know, hand soap, packaging together, you know, you know, uh, separately these only cost me about $2 and something cents and I bundled them together and raised the price to 24 and I made a, a killing. So this is a multi-pack bundle. And last but not least, this is what's called a variety bundle, paper cutting boards, magic markers, and the paper cutting kit. So I'll show you and walk you through how to actually create these bundles. And you'll, for a while, you'll be the only person selling the bundle and nobody else can sell that bundle unless they go out and they source the same exact products that you have and then have those products bundled together. So it creates a huge barrier of entry for somebody to duplicate your the work and jump on the listing with you. Now, this right here is from a arbitrage Amazon group that I'm in. And it says, so my best friend asked me for my Amazon storefront name because he was curious and interested to see what I sell on Amazon. I gave it to him thinking nothing of it. Now he wants to open an Amazon seller account selling my exact ASIN. So in layman's terms, this person just wanted to steal all his products. And so, it says, my advice to all you sellers do not give out your Amazon storefront name to anybody, even if it's your friends and family. People are lazy, have no morals, and they just want to piggyback off your success. So again, this is not multi-level marketing. This is not a, a drive or any of those type of businesses uh, from the past. Um, you do not have to share this with your friends and family. You don't have to uh, ask anybody to go to your Amazon store and purchase any of your products. In fact, never do that. Amazon is going to give you free customers for life, more customers than you know what to do with. 
And so, again, you don't have to share your Amazon store. You don't have to ask anybody to come and purchase anything from you. Just follow the instructions that I lay out for you, set everything up, um, and then Amazon is going to give you customers worldwide. All right, now, if you missed out on the whole Google, Tesla, Netflix, AOL, Facebook, Microsoft, Bitcoin, NFT, gold mines, don't worry. I missed out on all those too, but I'm not missing out on this Amazon gold rush. And so to put this in perspective, every week, Amazon pulls in $4.4 billion. Every day, they pull in $638 million. So statistically, there are only 350 million people in the United States. So if every person in the United States, all 350 million people were on Amazon running a business and earning $1,000 a day, Amazon would still be profitable to the tune of about 280 something million dollars a day. So think about that. If every person in the United States made $1,000 a day, that's $30,000 a month. I mean, the only problem would be dealerships and nice neighborhoods would be full. There would be no luxury cars left on the lot. <laughs> Everybody would be on vacation and nobody would be worried about racism anymore or there would be no more crime because everybody would just have a surplus of money. But of course, Las Vegas would be jam packed. You wouldn't even get into Vegas anymore. All right. So here's inside of my main Amazon account. And I took this screenshot back in uh, January of this year. And as you can see, my total balance was sitting at 26584 Um by the time I woke up uh, this afternoon and, and checked this account, I already made $4,000 and I sold 16 orders. So if you're doing the math, you can see that 16 orders to make $4,000, I'm at a big boy level now. So most of, of you can't start off at this level. So I purchased like high end appliances, like refrigerators, large area rugs, wash machines, outdoor patio furniture, uh, uh, gazebos and you know, outdoor fire kits and all this type of stuff. And your profit margin and your competition is huge. So your profit is huge, but your competition is almost non-existent. So this is how you start to scale up. And this is what I'll walk you through. So I'll show you how to get started. And then once you get started, I'll show you how to eventually start scaling up to the same exact level. All right. And this is a little video that I made so you can actually see inside of my actual main account so you can see that it's not a screenshot. I'm a, so this is my computer set up with the three monitors. And this was my apartment in Santo Domingo where I spent six months. And, and I'm refreshing the page and coming over here, checking my balance. You can see it's trying to convert me over to Spanish because I'm in a DR and boom. A couple days later, now my balance was at $32,784, right? And again, I'm going to go back over, refresh the page one more time. So you can see it's not a screenshot. It's not magic. It's just me refreshing the page. And boom, same thing, $32,784.52. All right, now, this right here. It's just a screenshot of me at an ATM showing you exactly what's inside of my bank account at, at the time of this picture. So see my business uh, checking account was with USAA. And at the time, they had six figures in my savings and 1.2 in my checking account. All right. And then if that's not enough, uh, this is from... Uh, this is, well, my main bank account with Navy, uh, Navy Federal Credit Union. And this statement is from April the 26th of this year to May the 25th of this year. And as you can see, my total deposits, $35,142.90. And of course, I blocked out all my other pertinent information. So, you know, not many people are this transparent, but as you can see, 
You know, I like to be 100% so you can see everything. I don't, I don't want it to be a guessing game. And now I'm going to show you just, uh, you know, what my life is like with this type of money and what, what type of things I'm into. So I'm just going to run through this real quick. So this is me in British in Columbia, and this is called Parapente, where you get into this harness with an instructor, instructor, they run you off the side of a mountain, and you're literally cloud level sailing over the entire city for an hour and a half. My only advice is to make sure you go on the hottest day possible because at this altitude, it is freezing cold. All right, so this right here is me in, in Atlanta and I'm skydiving. These are some of the places, favorite places that I travel to. So I was in Las Vegas for 30 days. I've been to Africa. I've been to Colombia several times, Hoover Dam, Guadalupe. Uh, this right here with the alligator was in Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. Now I've been living in Sosua, Dominican Republic for the last four months. All right, and then of course I have a thing for motorcycles. As a matter of fact, I just bought my girlfriend and I his and her motorcycles. I love helicopter tours. I love chartering and private boats. And, you know, I like penthouses or, you know, nice large villas. All right, and then when you travel, you get to meet some of the best people you've ever met in your life. Everybody's on vacation, everybody's having a good time. And, you know, pardon the expression, but you know, a lot of Stellas be trying to get their groove back. So, you know, you don't even have to have that much, you know, game. You just have a good time. And just hear more of my journey. So uh, I think I'm in on a cruise and in Medellin for like the holidays and then the beach and just, you know, nonstop fun. This is at the top of Face Cruces Mountain in Medellin, Colombia, uh, high altitude. Um, I used to go here before the pandemic every other month. This is Spa Castle in Dallas, Texas. Man, if you need some rest and relaxation, it's the place to be. This is uh, in Medellin, Colombia for Halloween. They really know how to celebrate Halloween there. So this is right where rafting in Costa Rica, indoor skydiving in Atlanta. So before I went outdoor skydiving, I went indoor skydiving to learn how to actually, you know, do it correctly. Then I was a season ticket holder to all the games, all the uh, sports franchises in the ATL. And here I am in uh, to Car to uh, Cartagena, the Totumo Volcano, where you climb down into the base of the volcano and they put mud all over you. Rock climbing in Texas, penthouse in Cartagena, and zip lining in Costa Rica. And boom, horseback riding, four wheeler Segway tours, and exploring Tennessee. And then uh, two of my whips. So these are what I call my Michael Jacksons, because one is white and one is black, and they're identical. They're the Lincoln MKZs, hybrids. And then this is my third baby right there, the uh, Gullwing I-8. And this is my apartment that I uh, was in in Santo Domingo, so you can see nice, uh, uh, what they call vistas, so pan panoramic views and vistas, and a little nighttime scenery. I was here during Christmas of last year, so that right there is my Christmas tree with no presents because I pretty much got everything I want. So, and here I am on a field trip with some other Amazon sellers, so this is just what I live and breathe. Now, if you haven't figured this out by now, all this business is, is digital real estate. So what that means is every day you'll purchase a product. And when you purchase that product and send it in Amazon, you're gonna make a, a percentage of return on investment. So a nice ROI or a nice yield. And that minimum return on investment, if you have all your settings set up correctly, and you're choosing the correct product should be 30%. And so your money can grow by a minimum return on investment of 30% every single day if you just follow the system that I have laid out for you. All right. And this right here is, um, I found this on the internet, and it just shows you how fast retail stores are dying. So if you're sitting and you're watching this right here happen right in front of you in real time, then you'll know that if you get ahead of this curve, it can make you a multimillionaire. 
And so J.C. Penney, 138 stores closing. And look at Staples, 70 stores closing. Macy's, 65. Sears, 150. Or you probably know this just by walking through your average shopping mall and stores are just disappearing. You know, I remember back in the day when I was growing up, when you went to the mall, there were no empty stores. There were no empty kiosks. Everything was full. But now Amazon is changing that. And of course, all of these companies started in somebody's garage or somebody's house. And Amazon is no different. It started in the house. And if you're thinking to yourself that this is a scam or this is illegal, then all you have to do is think back to when Amazon first started, right? Amazon started this back in 2006, and they started with selling books. And they were able to capitalize off of the internet starting to grow up out of its infancy. And what happened was a lot of online universities started to pop up once the internet you know, came out of its infancy. And this, of course, created direct competition for brick and mortar universities and a lot of colleges or uh, community colleges. And a lot of those colleges lost their accreditation, went out of business and closed down. So you had millions upon millions of books as surplus. And so Amazon gathered up, gathered up all those books and had people send them in to Amazon fulfillment centers. And then boom, Amazon was in the book selling business that they pretty much got for free or pennies on the dollar once these brick and mortar universities close up because of the online university phenomenon. And so after doing that for a few years, Amazon figured out that they could do this for almost any product in the world. And so that's how Amazon FBA got started, where people started sending in the books and then they got wise and Amazon said, okay, you know what? Now you guys can send in everything, other products, toys, clothes, food, supplements, medication, medical supplies, everything. And after that, it was a game changer. All right. So I'm always doing my research and I like to know what my competition is charging so I can make sure that my price is fair and equitable as well. So this is a company called Automation Allowance Alliance. And I want to show you what they charge to set, set you up. So this is their actual document that they sent me over so I can know exactly what the price was. And this is the DocuSign document. And their price to set up a Walmart store for you or an Amazon store for you is $18,000. And I promise you, my price is nowhere even near $18,000. And then <laughs> they also take a 50% split of all your profits. So if you want to pay $18,000 and then give up 50% of all your profits, no problem. Have at it, but I wouldn't advise it. This is another company. This one is called Amazon Automation. And they require a minimal capital contribution of 50,000. And then <laughs> uh, they charge you a 10% working fee that's deducted as um, soon as you start. And then they pay you 2% a month or 25% annually for the whole year. And remember, on one product with my system, you, you can earn an ROI of 30% just off of one product. And you can order multiple quantities of said product. And you'll be purchasing a product every single day. So this right here is just another highway robbery. And so, you know, they also, you know, uh, have a $15,000 e-commerce coaching. And so they really just, you know, rip you off and overcharge you so all right now if you don't want to pay <laughs> the big boy price then you can also go over to udemy and udemy has all these courses right here how to start an fba store on a tight budget or how to do private labeling 
or your first Amazon FBA course beginning to seven figures. But notice the price of these, $119, $119 and $124.99. So what do you think something like this is going to teach you about Amazon? The answer isn't that much. I mean, you're gonna get what you pay for. So if you pay somebody $124, yeah, they're gonna give you a couple of things that they've learned about Amazon that they probably rehashed from another course or seller just to make $100. But there's not gonna be anything in there that's gonna help you set this thing up correctly, become successful, and then be able to scale it up. So just another warning. So this is what I charge. So I have two plans. This is my first plan. It's just a one-time payment of $2,500. So it's not a $100 course. It's not an $18,000 course. I try to make it affordable for everybody at just $2,500. And that's a one-time payment. And then I take an equity stake in your Amazon business of just 15%. And so whenever Amazon pays you out every two weeks, then through Cash App, Zelle, PayPal, or Y transfer, then you'll just send me over 15% of your profits. And then I reinvest that into the platform that I've built and the course that I've put together to keep us moving forward. Because in the technology landscape, things change so fast that if you're not constantly blazing a new trail and doing research and development, you will get left behind and your business will become obsolete. So this is what I call plan A, one-time payment of 2,500, 15% equity in your Amazon business. Plan B, one-time payment of 7,500 and it's an equity buyout. So that allows you to keep 100% of your profits. So you know, I have a lot of clients who choose the equity buyout because they want to keep 100% of their profit. But if, if you don't have just 7,500 sitting around in order to do equity buyout, then I've still tried to keep it affordable at just a one-time payment of 2,500. And um, this right here is a breakdown of what your monthly expenses will look like. So, the prep and ship company that I've negotiated with, and you know, I've been using them now for three years and I drove down, well, I actually called when I started three and a half years ago, I called probably about 10, 15 prep and ship companies in Atlanta along where I lived. And only one called me back. And so I drove down to their facility to meet the owner and his wife and tour the facility and I told them, you know, listen, this is what I'm doing. I want to see if y'all can handle and earn my business. And it was like, yeah, we can do it. And they've done it. And then when I got started training people, I went back to them and say, hey, listen, I want to start training people and, and send, you know, send uh, my clients, you know, to you guys. So I need to know whether or not you can handle, you know, getting X, Y, Z, a number of clients per month. And also, no monthly charges for uh, my clients. So it's just a one-time fee of $49 and almost every other ship company in the United States is gonna charge you a monthly fee, but not the way I've negotiated it for all my clients. So I put in the work for all of us to benefit. So software number one, $139 a month. Software number two, $17 a month. Uh, 359 469 559 $637 a month. Now, your Amazon professional seller account is $39 a month. It's actually $39.99 a month. And Amazon is going to take that off of a credit card or a debit card. But once you become profitable, Amazon will then just deduct it directly from your profits. All right. And so the software plus your Amazon seller account comes up to $419 a month. Now, once you're ready, you can also bring on a virtual assistant, but you don't have to. I, I advise all my clients to get comfortable running their own business first, just in case something happens to your VA or you're forced to run your own business. Maybe your VA quits on you because you're being, you know, narcissistic or something. 
or you're not doing what you're supposed to do. Then the virtual assistant, you only have to pay them $50 a week, but $50 a week times four weeks and a month, that's another $200. So if you don't want to incur that expense to bring your global business expenses up to $619, then the minimum you can keep it at is just $419. So it's on you, but you will make the money to cover this back with ease. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the presentation. I mean, this is something that I've been doing for eight years. I'm a bona fide ex expert, guru, master, and you know, there aren't many people who are willing to hold your hand and walk you through this whole entire landscape. And when you first get started on Amazon, it's like a foreign language. It's like you even read or speak the language that Amazon is written in or speaking to you in. So I try to make it as easy as possible. All right, Philly, do we have questions? I'm sure we do. All right. Give me uh, some questions. Hold on for a second. Right. Okay. That's the end of the presentation. You got anything else? Well, that's it. Here's a question. All right, JM is asking for how long do you have to pay a 15% if you buy the 2500 plan? So that 15% JM is into perpetuity. And here's why it's set up that way. And you have to choose right in the beginning is when I send you over the contract, you have to choose plan A or plan B. And here's why it's set up that way. Um, a, a year or two from now, some of my clients will decide to sell their Amazon business. And so they might get an evaluation of two to three times their annual revenue. So let's say just, let me see, uh, let's say a million dollars, right? So let's say they've grown their account to a million dollars a year. So they might get an evaluation of three times that, which, which would be $3 million, just like you see on Shark Tank. They ask you, okay, you know, your valuation is two, three times, here's your annual revenue. Then they say, okay, so your company is worth $3 million. And so when that happens, you'll be able to sell your Amazon account and you'll be able to get that infusion of cash. So you'll have $3 million to your name. I'll take 15% of that. So you'll pay me 450,000, which I think is 15% if I'm just doing the math in my head or whatever 15% of that is. All right, so then after that, you can go right back in and create another Amazon seller account. And this time you'll be able to scale it up to those same numbers with ease because now you've already done it before. And when you sell your account for the first time, here's what you do. You tell the, the person, you tell the new buyer that you wanna maintain a 15% or a 25% equity stake in your Amazon business, the same as I had in your Amazon business. And so they may take your Amazon account and scale it up twice as, as, as large as you did. And so you'll get 15 or 25% of that Amazon account for the lifetime as long as they're earning and growing your account. So this is why I set it out that way because it benefits me and it benefits you. And this is what gives me a vested interest in making sure that you succeed. So you'll get access to my phone number, my email address, Facebook and Instagram. And that way, you know, whenever you have questions, you'll be able to just send me a WhatsApp message or a voice message and I help you out in real time and ongoing consultations. All right, so that's how, that's why uh, the plan is into perpetuity, JM. A great question. All right, next question. All right, and also JM is asking, uh, will you have access to enter the customer account whenever you want? Or do you verify the profits of the client every month to get the 15%? That's yeah, so JM, um, inside the Amazon Seller Central account, you'll add me as a uh, bona fide user or what's called user permissions. So Prep and Ship will, will have user permissions. If you have a virtual assistant, they'll have user permissions and I'll have user permissions. The only thing I'll be able to see 
is your payout every two weeks and that's it and that's how i keep all my clients honest and i'll know what 15 percent is and they'll know what 15 percent is and then they'll just send it over with their preferred payment method but it keeps everybody accountable there is no guesswork in it all right next question all right can we get more details on plan c okay great tape i actually didn't even uh discuss plan c but of course yeah so plan a is one-time payment of 2500 plan b is a one-time payment of 7500 and yes i do have a plan c and plan c is fifteen thousand, and that's where i actually fly you to me to the dominican republic or I fly to you wherever you are, and I sit down and set up your entire business for you. And that comes complete with the virtual assistant to run your entire business. So if you have the 15,000 and that's no problem for you, and you just want the whole business set up without you having to learn anything because you're already busy, then I, I have had a client before go that route because they were just too busy to do it themselves or the, to learn something new and they felt like they were already overburdened, but that's plan C. So I didn't mention that earlier, but I guess maybe you had, uh, were paying attention to an earlier live stream when I did mention that. But uh, that's, those are the details for plan C. It's just setting everything completely up, but it doesn't allow you to learn it. I just do everything for you. And then I'm sitting right next to you so you can ask me all the questions that you have under the sun pertaining to the business. All right, next question. Uh, All right, JM is, JM is asking, can you apply these same concepts to eBay or is there no money on eBay anymore? All right, great question, JM. So actually what I do is I teach you how to one, set up your own website for free and you don't even have to pay for hosting so when you be finding all these great deals let's say you find a, a great product that you want to sell on amazon but there's too much competition and you'll know how to analyze that with, with no problem and so you'll list that product you'll purchase it anyway even though there's too much competition to sell it on amazon and you'll list it on your own website and then once it sells on your own website, you'll have Amazon send the product straight to your customer. Or you'll also be able to sell your products on the Facebook marketplace. So that way your business is also tied to Amazon, but also at the same time, independent of Amazon. So if Amazon suspends you or something like that, or your account goes inactive, you've already built a brand so you built a brand with your own website you sold thousands of products on a facebook marketplace because facebook gives you that same customer traffic for free all you have to do is just list the products so you know this is more than just selling products on amazon i'll be walking you through how to build a brand but another great question jm all right adrian richards Guys, the man is legit. Stop asking questions. You already know and take action. <laughs> I'm coming over from eBay. Can't wait to get going. See you inside. And, and, yes, indeed, Adrian. So um, I actually got my start drop shipping. And uh, 2013, you know, I was married and I was laying in bed with the wifey. And she was always shopping everywhere. eBay, Amazon, Etsy, Bonanza. That's all she did was shop. And so one day I was just in the bed with her and I was looking down at her computer as she was shopping. And I had to do the double take. And I was like, wait a minute. I saw that same workout shirt um, on eBay. And there it is on Amazon. And it's half the price. And it's like not even a week after that. I received an email, and the email uh, mentioned drop shipping. I was like, okay, what is drop shipping? And when I opened up the email, there's a presentation showing you how to go to Amazon and find great products with good reviews and list, take that entire listing with the picture and the text and list it over in eBay. 
And once it's sold on eBay, the money will go straight inside your PayPal account. And then PayPal would release the money to you. And then you would go over to Amazon, purchase that product with that same money that the customer already gave you. And then you would put in your customer's name and their address and Amazon would ship that product straight to your customer. The only problem with that business model was there were a lot of times when I went to go buy the product and it was out of stock. So then I had to give the, my customer the bad news and they were never happy when you tell them that you're out of stock. And two, um, another thing that I didn't like about that business model is a lot of times if you were out of stock, you had to go find a product from someplace else and the price would be a whole lot higher. Therefore, you end up losing money. And so but nowadays, uh, drop shipping on Amazon is illegal, so it's not something that you want to do. But yeah, um, I understand what it takes to move over from eBay into Amazon because that's where I started. All right, JM is asking, do you have a cheaper plan for those that are already have an Amazon seller account and already know the basic? Uh, yes, indeed. I'll just talk to you specifically to see exactly how you have things set up and where you are and whether or not we can implement this plan for you. Um, because I ask you that you actually really have to have things set up in a certain manner in order to be successful. So if you already have your Amazon account set up and you and you have all your settings <coughs> uh, sort of dress right dress to function in a certain way, then it may conflict with how set up all my clients for their success. So we'll just have to speak further, JM. All right, next question. Uh, hold on a second. Somebody texted me from Belize a while ago. They asked me this. Uh, let me see the question. Somebody from Belize just texted me that. Yes, if you're in Belize, you can open up a store. Um, you can almost open up an Amazon store in any country. Uh, some countries are blacklisted, but there are ways to get around that. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world. Um, I can direct you to how to open up an Amazon business. Yeah, it doesn't matter where you are. And by the way, guys, um, I did have one of my clients coming on to do a testimonial, but I completely forgot that uh, tomorrow's the 4th of July and they're traveling. So I wasn't able to get them on at this uh at this late hour, but um, what I'm gonna do real quick is share my screen again. I think I'm still sharing. Um, and all right, uh, Philly, can you see my screen again? Yeah, I can see it, I can see it. Okay, so guys, this is my uh, primary, what well, actually no, secondary, FBA group. As you can see, we got 369 members. And I have all my clients part of this group. And so my clients post their testimonials in here. I post inspirational things in here. And so I want to go through here and just show you with some of my clients' screenshots and testimonials and stuff and information that they're posting. So I'm just going to scroll through here. All right, so this is Giordano. He's uh he lives in Colombia. I've known Jordano for about six years. He's a personal friend of mine, and here he is just posting uh, his results. So uh, for this day when he posted this, he had made forty dollars. Uh, this is probably early in the morning for him, but for the last thirty days, you can see five thousand forty-two dollars, and that's just him. And right here, he said five thousand dollars in sales in the last thirty days. And then he posted his cost of goods and his Amazon fees. And he says his profit was about 1200 to 1500 and profit after all that revenue coming in. And when, it, when I first trained Giordano, he didn't actually follow the script that I gave him. He went out and did it on his own. And so it took him a lot longer to reach that level, but you know, he eventually reached it. 
So you don't have to necessarily do it exactly the way I say. You can find your own niche, but I can get you there faster if you just follow the script that I have laid out for you. All right, so this is another client of mine. Uh, this is uh, Vanessa, and here she is posting her uh, account. So in the last seven days, she made $914 or sales for this particular day. She had made $151 and she sold five units. All right, and let's see, who is this? Oh, that's Vanessa again. All right, this is Ramon Wilson. And so he was just getting started and $98 and he has sold three units and $181. And you can see this was just his first couple of days. So from May the 2nd through May the 5th. So he made, his, made sales on May 2nd, no sales on May 3rd, sales on May 4th, May 5th, and then it just started to climb from there. And all this is happening in real time, guys. So, you know, you could uh, get me to uh, send you an invite. Uh, this is another client of mine. This is uh, Tavar. And here's her results, $436 in one day. And <clears throat> I want you guys to think about that. You know, most of you go to work and work a full-time job and you, you may not bring home $436 a day, but when you start making that type of money, it's life changing. And let's see. Uh, this is something that I posted. I, th I just thought this is real inspiration. It says, these Michael Jordans cost $220. For the same amount of money, you could start a corporation, open a corporate checking account, purchase a customer domain name, join the business opportunity, and still have a $65 left over to advertise your business. So it says when you tell people you are too broke to start a business, everybody knows you are talking about your mindset. All right, and let's see, who is this? All right, so um, this is um, another one of Giordano's screenshots uh, from earlier. Um, so you can see he's selling at 13 Amazon marketplaces. Um, and when this is when he was just starting off and he had a total balance of $1,084 and 52 cents. All right. And let's see, who is this? This is, uh, Tavara again. So she's at $395 a day, 14 units sold on the last 30 days. She made $3,337. And this is just the transparency of my entire uh, clientele. Everybody is instructed by me to post the results in the Facebook group. And then when people want information or they need verification, then I grant them access to this Facebook group so they can come in here and just look at all of these screenshots. And then right here in the comment section, you know, you can come down right here in the comment section and you can post your comment, ask questions, and just get that real world information. Here's another client. This is Andrea uh, Furlow. And she's married with, I think Andrea has uh, two kids. And so here's her account. She was only in three Amazon marketplaces, which is Canada, the United States, Mexico. So she had uh, three sales for this, well, she had three open orders. She had some sales coming in for the day. She was winning the buy box at 4% of the time, and settling in her, in her account was a balance of $1,242.59, and that's every two weeks. So that's already $2,400 a month that she was earning, and she hadn't even been in the business for, um, she hadn't even been in the business for 90 days at that point. So, you know, I try to make sure that you all hit the ground running, especially as we're nearing the fourth quarter. And this was some who was this was Tavara, and she was sharing it was that Amazon just initiated a payment of nine hundred and ninety five dollars to her uh, direct deposit to her bank account, and this is back on April the twenty eighth of this year, and she was just getting started. Now she's making a whole lot more money than that. And let me see, where's I got another client? Who is this? Okay. Um, and this is uh, another client of mine. Her name is Marsha. Um, 
And Marsha shared this with the group and boom, $1,022.45 and that's every two weeks. And so I can go on and on. If you all send me a Facebook invite, I'll go ahead and add you to this group so you can come in here and look at all of these testimonials and screenshots yourself. And this is not sending you to a website where you get to look at reviews that may or may not be real. You can substantiate that everything in that Facebook group is real. Also, let me see if I can pull this up real quick. Um, so well, let me see, where's my FBA group? I want to show you guys this. This is something important that I want to point out. All right, so this is my FBA client group chat. And let's see. Uh, it doesn't show me the number of people in this group, but you can see uh, the names are scrolled across here. I, I don't know how to pull them all up, but I currently have over 50 clients and they're all part of the same um, group. So they're all in this uh, WhatsApp group. I call this the FBA client group chat. And then they're all inside of my exclusive client only Facebook group. And so Everyone pays me the same thing, either the 2,500 plan, the 7,500 plan, or the 15,000 plan. So if one single person was unhappy with what I teach or the services that I provide, then all it would take is one bad apple to spoil the entire bunch. But the amount of detail and personalized service that I put into each one of my clients, I make sure that everybody's happy because that's the only way that this can be successful. Because all I would need, which is, is this one client in the group saying, hey, this doesn't work, I'm happy, I'm not making any money. And then the whole thing would come crashing down. So I put a lot of my own personalized time into this to make sure that you guys are successful. So you can see there's no smoke screen, it's just hard work and it's my passion to want to see other people succeed you know i could have kept all this information to myself and just been making money hand over foot and not creating extra competition <laughs> for the rest of these amazon sellers but i believe that everybody deserves the same equal opportunity and so that's it any more questions no uh just the one let me jc said this jm said that but you answered that already yeah yeah jm the 15 the 15 percent is into perpetuity which means forever that's why you have to decide right in the beginning and this has helped me also to recoup my time and also uh my expenses because you know, some of my clients, you know, I'll be back and forth with them for six months. So, you know, if you break down what 2500 is over six months, it's not a lot of money. So that 15 percent helps to compensate me for my time and my energy to make sure each one of my clients are successful. So in the very beginning, it's either, you know, you got to choose plan A, plan B or plan C and you'll get ongoing lifetime consultations for as long as you need it. And every other week I do a client only training where I walk you through how to do more advanced training. And every other month I bring on a special guest speaker like I just brought on a special guest speaker who spoke to all my clients about how to properly set up an LLC. And what she actually had told us and taught us is that for every business that you have, you want to set up a separate LLC. And the reason why you want to do this, excuse me, is because for every LLC that you have, you can get a separate entity of business funding for every LLC that you have. So just teaching us that is huge. So if you didn't know that, now you know. And she also does credit repair for 500 $99 just in case you need that done. And she'll also show you how to get grants for your business. And that's free money for your Amazon business that you never have to repay. And last but not least, she'll walk you through how to get business funding and business credit. 
and also she'll show you how to deal with your Amazon taxes because she's also a tax expert. And so this is all the information and services that I bring to you guys to make sure that you're set up for success. Uh, what should we say? All Put right, Amaru. Yeah. Yeah, you're saying that, yeah, Put it down will do. I, I needed this for real. Yeah, Amaru, a lot of people need this, man. And this is why I made this thing affordable. And, you know, it took me three and a half years to set this whole thing up. And, you know, I was fortunate because I'm a veteran. And so, you know, I got, you know, retirement money coming in. So I didn't have to go out and work a nine to five. So I just dedicated three and a half years to perfecting this, testing out one software after another, literally hundreds of softwares until I had a working system to put this all together. And then, you know, it just happened by happenstance that somebody asked me one day for help. And next thing you know, I ended up training other people. So, you know, yeah, it's definitely geared to help as many people as possible. And last but not least, I didn't get a chance to discuss this. Oh, so JM is asking me, what's the most you have made in a single day on Amazon, bro? Uh, Most I've made in a single day. Uh, I think there was six thousand. Um, I was close to it a couple of months ago. I had made like four thousand in one day. Um, but I think the most I've made is it's like six thousand in one day. But I, I know I'm going to break that this year because now I got a lot inventory, and we're going into the fourth quarter pretty soon. Where the that fourth quarter stretch of five months is going to be crazy. So. On July the 12th and 13th, you got Amazon Prime Day, all right? On August, you got back to school. And then for well, August and September, you have back to school. And then uh, in October, you have Halloween. November, you have Thanksgiving. And then right after Thanksgiving, you got Cyber Friday, Black Friday. And then you go to December for the Christmas shopping. Uh, Christmas Eve, New Year's Day, and then you got New Year's Eve, and then you got that January after Christmas uh, shopping deal extravaganza going on. So during the fourth quarter, you can make more sales than you make, you know, pretty much at any other time of the year because it's when people do the most, most of their shopping. So that's the most I've made it in one day, J.L. I don't see no more questions. And they got your information. Let me put it in again. Okay. Where's this information? Is WhatsApp? Uh, is Facebook? Is email? Everything's there. Yeah. And one last thing is because I trained everybody personally, I can only handle three clients per month so that's two clients per week and i've already had a waiting list of people so for the month of july there are only five slots left so if you're going to get on this jump on it as fast as humanly possible because once those five slots are gone for july you won't be able to get in until august and i can't even guarantee that all the slots in august or already be booked up because now everybody's trying to get in for that fourth quarter rush because this is when you're going to make the most amount of the sales and explode your account. Yep. And I teach you everything. If you want to learn private labeling, retail arbitrage or online arbitrage, or you want to, to be able to approach uh, large brands like Nike, Nautica, Michael Kors, Under Armour, uh, whatever brand you can find, if you want to approach them, I'll show you how to do that. I'll also show you how to approach smaller brands who are selling on Amazon, but their their listing is bad and they don't know what they're doing. I'll show you how to reach out to them and work out a deal where you work out a deal to sell their merchandise exclusively 
uh, and then you'll just, I'll show you how to optimize the entire listing and make it better. So when you approach them, you're not just asking them if, uh, yes, I do offer military discounts for veterans because I am myself a veteran. So absolutely, JM. Great question, though. <laughs> no, you can't use the GI Bill for this course, though, but I do offer a military discount. Absolutely. All right, Philly, I think we've answered everybody's questions. Do you have any questions? Hey, Philly, I got a question for you, though. I don't know if you can still hear me. I hear you. I can hear you now. Okay. My question for you, man, is when you finally coming back to the DR, man? You've been gone for about oh. two years, huh? <laughs> well, it's been two years. It's been like a month and a half, maybe two months. After I take care, I got some stuff I'm taking care of in Belize. Once I get that under control and all that together, I'll make my way to the DR. Okay, okay, okay. Good to know. Good to know. Once I get that, all right. control, I get away. Yep, I think we've answered everybody's questions. Yep. Yeah, I think that's it, man. It was a good live. It was a good live. Absolutely. Yep. All right, All right so everybody has my contact information. Go ahead and send me an email or hit me up on WhatsApp, and um, I'll go ahead and shoot you over the information so you'll know how to enroll and get started. And don't drag your feet because fourth quarter gets crazy around here. All right. Again, Philly Dom, I appreciate you, man, for making this happen. No problem, my brother. No problem. Yep, and enjoy enjoy your time in Belize, man. Yes, indeed. I had a good day, man. I had a good day in Belize today. Amazing time. Okay. In Belize. Yeah, make sure you cop me one of those fruity drinks with the umbrella in it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my brother. We'll talk later. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, everybody have a blessed night, morning, afternoon, no matter where you at in the world. Because you know people All from right. you know, people all over the world watching. Okay. Right, take, yeah. Take care. And I'll call you tomorrow, man. We'll talk. All right. Okay. Yes, sir. Bye-bye.